Hi guys, welcome to today's video where we're talking about the transport system in plants. Unlike human, plant does not have heart, no blood and no circulation, but they do still need a transport system to move food, water and minerals around. They have two different types of transport tissues. First, xylem. Secondly, phloem. Xylem is the tube that transports water and minerals from the roots to other parts of plant. Phloem functions to move the sucrose and amino acids from the leaves to other parts of plants. The nutrient-rich regions that supply sugars for the rest of the plant are called the sources. Sources include the leaves where the sugar is generated through photosynthesis. And the leaf is regarded as the sources because it is a region with high sugar concentration. And the sugar will be transported to the sink which are the area of low sugar concentration, such as the growing tissues and roots. Here's a comparison between the xylem and phloem. Xylem vessels are elongated cells arranged end to end. This allows water to flow in a continuous column. And as you can see here, the walls of xylem vessel contains holes known as pits. And these holes will allow water to enter through. A mature xylem consists of elongated dead cells arranged end to end to form a hollow and continuous tubes for the water column to pass through. Remember, xylem is very strong. It has a tough cell wall containing a woody material called lignin. And because of this lignin, xylem functions to provide mechanical support to the plant as well. Remember, xylem is a hollow tube consists of dead cells with no cytoplasm. And the end walls of cell will be disintegrated in order to form a continuous hollow tube. Now, let's have a look at the phloem tissue. Unlike the xylem, phloem tissue is made up of columns of living cells joined end to end, which contains strands of cytoplasm but no nucleus. The wall is thinner as compared to xylem. It only contains cellulose without lignin.
The end walls of the cell that make up the phloem tissue is perforated by pores and this structure is known as sieve plates. And the sieve plates will help the transport of materials from cell to cell. And these cells are kept alive and supported by the companion cells. So remember, phloem is the food carrying tube that connects the source to the sink. Now, let's look at how the tissues are arranged differently in different parts of the plant. Your IGCSE exam, they love to ask this question. The reason that they are arranged differently in different parts of the plants is because of the xylem cell. Xylem cells have extra reinforcement in their cell walls, which is the lignin, and this will help to support the weight of the plant. And different parts of the plant require different kind of mechanical support. If we cut the leaf and look at the cross-section view, The tissues will look like this. This is the xylem, which is usually found closer to the upper surface. And the one below is the phloem. How do you differentiate this? The cells of xylem are bigger, while the phloem are usually smaller. This is the upper epidermis, lower epidermis. If we cut the stem and look at the cross section, the xylem and phloem are arranged in bundles near the edge of the stem. And this is to resist the compression and bending forces. The one nearer to the inner part is the xylem. Outer part would be the phloem. And in between these two, there is a vascular cambium. Epidermis followed by cortex. If we take a cross section look at the root, this is the epidermis and they have very specialized cell which is known as root hair cell followed by cortex. You will find that the xylem and phloem is arranged at the center of the root. This is to withstand the stretching forces to prevent the plant from being pulled up from the ground.